Hello, welcome to Student Barbecue. So, um, it's getting to be a little bit cooler weather, which is nice. And it also means that it's time to smoke some cheese again. You don't want cheese to go over 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 80, um, because it could get rainy. And yesterday, they had this sale of cheese at my grocery store. So I bought, I think these are about one kilo. Yeah, one kilo, two pounds, roughly, 2.2 .2 pounds. Uh, of Kauga, and then this is a small pipe sweet cheese called Stuka. Um, as the gather doesn't have any pipes really, as you might know. Anyway, uh, they were only five dollars a piece, which is really good. That's like two forty a pound. Anyway, so I cheated and I opened one up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into manageable sizes. I don't want it to be too large because when I grate this for pizza and stuff, I only want to grate enough and I also want to have a smoky exterior. So I'm going to cut each piece into half pound sizes, I would say. And I think it's best to just cut them like so. So this is what they're going to look like. They don't have to be even. Because, like I said, I normally just grate these anyway. I think that's gonna be good. And I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna use my smoking cabinet and my little electric uh, smoker, gen smoke generator. I'm just gonna put them on the separate grates, like so. Might cut a couple in smaller pieces. I don't know. I'll see. Anyway, I'll meet you back in a bit. A little flyby before smoking. So, this is Gouda before and the still cut before and um, maybe I should keep a little piece I'll just cut off a little piece so I can show you the difference after it's smoked I'm eating up by the smoker okay so we're out by my smoking cabinet so what I'm going to be using is this it's a very nifty little 36 volt it's like a small burner I've got some cherry wood in there and then I've got these pucks this is alder wood um, and they will slowly generate smoke and very, very little heat, which is what we want for cheese making. Today it's 48 degrees outside at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to leave the cheese in here about, I would say, may have three hours or so. Anyway, time to put the cheese in. I'm just going to keep these separate, doesn't matter which goes where, of course, because the smoke's going to create all the vents are closed. Keep the smoke in, that's the idea. I don't want these to be moving up toward the ends here, toward the, whatever you call them. See, there's a piece missing there. And then we got the gouda. Moving it around. A few small pieces, a few large pieces. It's all gonna be good. Well, there's a slight whiff of smoke there. I'm gonna show you once it's filled with smoke. Show you that it works. See you in a bit. Well, we got a lot of smoke anyway. I'm gonna close it up. Okay, so it's been about three and a half hours. Time to get these off. And this is what we have. I'm gonna make a comparison inside. Okay, let's try a beer. Van de Brigade. It's a Harbor Captain's APA, American Pale Ale. Um, it's a pale ale with American uh, hops. Uh, it's um, light uh, and a barley and wheat hops that we have brewed a fresh and uncomplicated ale that we uh, have used American Cascade for fresh, flowery and earthy tones of citrus. So, let's try this out. It's a local brewery. It's real close to where we live. So, the bottle is too small for the glass, but it doesn't really matter. Fairly light. There we go. Cheers, Sal. What do you think? It's for you. It's actually quite nice. It's not overly strong. I think it was like 4.9 ABV, PV, whatever you call it. 4.8 APV. Well, it's good. I'm going to enjoy this. 
that's what the cheese did look like. So the comparison would be that. Oh, well, you can see that. Anyway, so we're gonna put this, we're gonna wipe them off and uh, let them cool down a little bit more, and we're gonna vacuum seal them and um, try them out in three weeks or so. There we go, got that. So the small pipe cheese. So this goes into the fridge for three weeks to mellow out, and then I could just cut this open, remove one of them, and then reseal them. I think that's gonna be a way to do it. Otherwise, I'll just have to do something else with it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.